Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for February 4, 2022, the Culture Matters edition. And we begin with that story from the Wall Street Journal. As Wells Fargo's corrupt culture arises again as a federal, excuse me, a Georgia judge said the bank and its lawyers secretly manipulated a list of potential investors who were set up, uh, excuse me, potential arbitrators who were set up to um, provide dispute resolution over claims stemming from Wells Fargo's um, uh, watching of their investments. Wells Fargo and its lawyers uh, are alleged to have manipulated the list. Um, Who could decide the customer's claims? The um, case is yet another mess for Wells Fargo, which is digging itself out of its long-running fake account scandals, and it also sheds an unflattering light on the arbitration process set up to handle many of these disputes. Uh, This uh, process is overseen by FINRA, or FIRA, and now uh, Wells Fargo is caught in a culture imbroglio uh, yet again. Um, So you have to wonder if Wells Fargo is ever going to stop tripping over themselves. Next up from Bloomberg, Homeland Security is going to form a board to examine hacks acts like the NTSB probes plane crashes. Uh, the, cyber, the Cyber Safety Review Board will review the Log4J fallout. And uh, if I've worked with NTSB reports and they're uniformly excellent, uh, they are not allowed in court, which is significant because um, it gives uh, everyone a good reason to talk to um, the investigators. So I hope that they have that same level of uh, professionalism in these reports as well. Uh, Next up from Reuters, KPMG uh, also is uh, shooting itself in the foot again after having admitted that uh, they lied to regulators about their um, fraudulent uh, reports around the Carillion audits where they missed red flags uh, leading to the insolvency of the company. Well, uh, KPMG has now been sued for 1.3 billion pounds. That's about 1.8 billion by the liquidators of Carillion. So uh, just as the regulators are closing in against um, KPMG, now the uh, civil suit has followed. And finally, Uh, The Washington football team, now known as the Commanders, is sued yet again for another sexual harassment claim, this time going up to uh, including the owner, Dan Schneider. So uh, go commando is about all you can say to the Washington football team. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.